of the Philippine tuna industry. Globalization ushers the free flow of the tuna commodities in a broader and more sophisticated market with varying consumer preferences. The major world consumers of tuna products are USA, Japan, and Europe. Philippines has become the second largest processor in the Western, Western Central Pacific Ocean following Thailand. The Philippine scannery production is exported mostly to Europe and USA with an average of 10.4 million cases every year. Philippine large yellowfin tuna are global commodities being marketed in the US and Japan where both countries provide encouraging tariff policies to the country. Zero tariffs by the U.S. and below 3% tariff by the Japan. So both the U.S. and Japan were found to be attractive by handling owners for exporters since they did not make the reachability requirement mandatory for the tuna trading. The Philippines eagerly complies with the reachability requirement in tuna trading. However, opposing views were provided by different stockholders in the industry especially for the handgun fishermen and the government agencies represented by the World Wide Fund in the Philippines. The WWF Philippines finds the fishability practice to facilitate improvement in the tuna fishing industry. The government was also found to lack marketing support for the handliners to the products. That's why the, mark, the suppliers or exporters of tuna have made their sole initiatives in marketing their products outside. Based on the findings, we concluded that the global supply chain of the Philippine tuna industry, specific to handline method, finds the U.S. and Japan for the desirable market to trade in large yellowfin tuna. The European traceability requirement was found less facilitated in marketing the said product for the handliners for a number of reasons. The strength of the Philippine tuna industry is also dependent on the government's ability to effectively implement the laws, policies, and regulations and monitor the activities in the industry as well as the global market. The handliners need to support market its large yellowfin tuna in the international market effectively. We recommended that the tuna industry strengthens its market ties with U.S. and Japan. The traceability requirement will be promoted in two modes, partial for the handliners and full compliance for forcing and longline fleet and face-by-face -face implementation to gain the needed support. The government or the Philippine government should create a marketing arm to assess handline owners or exporters when expanding its current market, promote price stability, lobby, and introduce amendments when necessary. Further, a more in-depth research be done on handline tuna fishing and come up with a more appropriate regulation and formulate economic incentives to those practicing selective method and sustainable fishing practices. More, important, more importantly, to adopt the proposed technology-driven traceability innovation framework for effective and proper monitoring of the tuna supply chain for the sustainability of the Philippine tuna industry. And this is our proposed technology-driven traceability innovation framework. This innovation is very important because it answers the food quality and safety and becomes the convenient tool to address uh, the lack of shared information and transparency. And it promotes the competitiveness through work efficiency and sustainability of the Philippine tuna industry in the global market. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Uh,